Peace y'all, Kanja Queen here again. Today I want to do a video about candle flames, candle magic. One of my subscribers had asked me to do a video talking about the candle flames and how to determine what the candle flame is telling you how your spell is going to manifest. So let's get into it. Whenever you're burning a candle, you are initially supposed to cleanse your candle put your herbs in it put your oils in it but most of all put your intention into the candle based upon how a candle flame will burn on the candle or how the candle will burn it tells you how that spell is going to manifest whether it's going to manifest slow whether it's going to be successful whether you're going to get quick results whether you are affecting a person or whether you're not affecting a person so let's just get a little bit more into it. One of the signs that your candle magic or your rituals is going to manifest quickly, smoothly, without any resistance is when your candle flame burns very bright and very high. This shows that your candle has a lot of power in it. Whatever prayer, rituals, incantations that you put into that flame, into that candle ritual, the candle flame is telling you that your spell is going to manifest without any problems. You are powerful. Whatever rituals or whatever you did, just know that it's going to manifest quickly. If the candle flame burns really low, it means that your wish may be granted, but you probably want to put a little bit more intention into it. Whatever spell that you're doing, the candle flame is letting you know that your will is weak and maybe your intention really isn't clear on exactly what you want. So you have to pray more over the candle and focus on um, your third eye. When you're focusing on your intention, close your eyes and see with your mind's eye what outcome do you want for that spell. If it's to influence a lover to come your way, you have to envision that person coming to you. Envision that person being sweet to you, being kind to you. If it's to bring destruction to an enemy, you have to envision this person suffering, this person going through hell and hot water. You got to see it in your eye, in your mind's eye, because that's where it all starts. As above, so below. You have to manifest it. You have to see it on the on the mental plane and then the universe will respond and bring it down to the physical plane so you'll start to see it manifested but first you have to know it and believe that your spell is going to come through no matter what happens you have to have faith and without faith none of you none of your rituals none of your spells will manifest and that's a fact okay you want to put more intention into your flame, into your spell, if the flame is low. Now, what happens when you lighten a candle, let's say you did your prayers, you did your rituals, or whatever, you did everything correctly, but the candle flame goes out on its own, meaning that the candle wasn't done burning, but somewhere, probably the first day, second day, third day, you know the candle isn't done, it hasn't even burnt down midway, and it just goes out. And you know, a lot of the times I tell my clients, this can be signs that there is resistance in their spell. If you're doing candle rituals to influence somebody else's mind or to bend somebody else's will, it could be that their guardian angels or their spirits picked up on it and they put out your spell. This doesn't mean that it's not going to manifest. It just means that you have to bulk up your spirit, bulk up your willpower and your intention. You have to pray over that candle more and relight it. Now, if the candle keeps going out, then it means that you have to do a different ritual. That ritual that you're doing right there is not going to work. Obviously, it's too weak because his spirit guides is already on it. They're more powerful than that. So you got to come harder than what whatever it is that you're coming with because they ain't having it. Okay, so you may have to burn a power, a more powerful ritual or you might have to get somebody else to do it for you. Because as I always say before, we all come into this world with a certain level of ashe. And ashe basically is your spirit power, your willpower, your magic power. And everybody has the ability to raise up their ashe. But there's some people who just naturally, they got it. They don't got to meditate. They don't got to do nothing. They probably was a witch or a warlock or a wizard, whatever you want to call it, a magician in previous lifetimes. So they already built up that ashe through their lifespan, through their years of um, spirit, of their incarnations. 
okay so maybe that particular person may have more eye shade than you do you might have to go to a witch doctor or another witch to get that spell on that person because that witch is going to be more powerful and know how to deal with those spirits how to get past them to get to that person if the candle flame keeps going out then it must it probably means that you're probably not strong enough you need somebody else that's stronger than you to conquer that person if the candle flame flickers like if it's going in and out it's flickering a lot and it's just dancing it's going crazy it means that there's some type of dance going on meaning like it's a battle of energies if you're doing a, a ritual to fight somebody to to put negative intention towards somebody to cause destruction and ruin then it could be that their spirits are fighting it off so your spirit guys and their spirit guys are like they going at it they they bumping head it means that you have to concentrate more on what it is that you want to do focus your willpower and it can also a shaky flame a dancing flame can also mean that you're indecisive on what you want you know one minute you might say you want this person next minute you say oh i don't know if i should be doing this or you could be putting a, a hex on somebody and next minute you, you you second guessing if you want to do it if you put a hex on somebody or a curse on somebody you have to be sure that that's exactly what you want because once you put it on that person it is what it is it's done you understand you put it out there in the universe the universe is going to handle it somebody once asked me um if they curse one particular person is it possible that somebody in their family can um get hit by whatever you send them and the answer is yes if you bring a destruction to somebody that could mean that you might kill their mom or kill their child or kill somebody that they love that's close to them because that's how spirits work you call on the spirit and you say look spirit this is what i want you to do i want you to bring this person down now that person probably going to destroy everybody around them first to bring them sorrow, to bring them grief, to bring them loneliness. It's like slowly tormenting them until finally it destroys that person. So you have to be sure exactly what it is that you want to bring, what it is that you're calling on and what it is that you truly want. Because spirit, once you ask them, look, this is what I want, it's done. Now it can't be reversed, but it's going to take more energy and it may take time and it may be too late to reverse it depending on how much energy you put into that destructive work yes if the candle flame is dancing it means that you got to focus your willpower you got to focus your intention you have to know exactly what it is that you want make up your mind and set it okay if the candle flame makes loud popping noises pop 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 right it means that a spirit is trying to come through and speak to you you have to listen you have to focus you have to concentrate if you're lighting a candle a white candle for your ancestors it could mean that your ancestors is trying to deliver a message to you it's a spirit that's trying to get your attention it's trying to come through and give you some type of warning some type of message but it's definitely um something coming through trying to come through and converse with you so it means to pay attention and listen up okay and even if you don't have the ability to actually hear spirits sometimes spirit speaks telepathically sometimes you may have to quiet your, your conscious mind and focus and, and, and hone in on your subconscious mind and see if you can pick up on the telepathic messages the spirits are trying to give you or focus on your dreams that night that's why you need to have a dream journal and a pen by your pillow write some dreams down spirits communicate in your dreams okay when the, when the popping and the popping noises too can also mean that somebody may be working against you um against your your intention your candle let's say for instance like i said when it comes to um enemy work loud popping noises mean that there's opposition against you their spirits may be fighting against your spirits so you have to put more energy and more intention into it also you can take a vencador bath the vencador is a plant it's a triumph plant. It builds up your spirit, your magic power, so that you can overcome whatever it is, whatever type of spirit that's trying to, to destroy you. If you're trying to protect yourself and you feel like whatever you're doing isn't working, you have to bulk up your spirit with um, High Down the Conqueror Root and Vinsador Bath. You can take that bath for three days, three to seven days, and it's going to bulk up your spirit and give you the strength, the power, and the will to fight whatever it is that's trying to conquer you. We can also talk about um, how the candle burns real, really quickly. Um, if the candle flame burns really black throughout the whole, like after you finish burning the seven day glass candle and it's black all the way down with soot, then it means that there that you may have witchcraft on you 
or there's some very strong opposition against you. Whatever it is that you is lighting, if you're lighting a green money candle and it burns really, really black, then it means that somebody may be trying to prevent you from getting money. Somebody probably sent some type of bad juju your way to empty your pockets or probably take your money and take your luck from you. So you want to get a spiritual bath and you want to make sure that you, you might want to get a reading and look into it and into that, see who did that to you, why that person did that to you and how you can reverse it. Also, um, if the candle just burns a little bit black on top, but mostly it's clear, it means that there was some opposition against you. There was some obstacle that was in the way that was blocking your path, but um, spirit cleared it out. So you're going to start seeing that things are going to become more better for you. Life is going to become more prosperous for you, more, um, more successful for you. Now, if the candle burnt, if the candle glass is just clear as day, then it means that there's no opposition against you and that your intention, your will, your wish will be granted like that. If the candle flame has like a white soot, like if it's cloudy, it's not even black, but it's just like cloudy and it's not really clear, it means that you want to burn another candle. If the candle flame never burns clear, if it's black or whatever, I would always suggest keep burning another candle until it's completely clear. That way you know all the obstacles, all opposition has been cleared out the way and you have the green light to go. That's exact. That's what I do. That's what I do for my clients and that's what I advise my clients do. If the candle glass explodes or pops, it means that there is some heavy forces against you that is trying to block your way. It, it just popped the candle. It broke the candle. You seriously want to look into getting like a serious, deep spiritual cleanse. You want to cleanse your house. You want to cleanse your spirit, and you want to protect yourself because that is some heavy forces right there. If your candle, if your candle glass pops, okay, that means that you're dealing with a very strong and, and a very dangerous spirit. However, if your candle, if let's say for instance, if you're burning a glass for protection and let's say candle glass cracks a little bit, it means that whatever type of negativity that was sent to you was broken, okay? It was broken. But I would also light another protection candle just to make sure that it, even though that curse or that hex was broken, you want to make sure that it's off of you completely. Whenever you're burning a candle to cleanse yourself, you want to make sure that you are lighting a protection candle alongside with it simultaneously and even after that candle burns out you want to burn another protection even though you cleanse yourself you have to protect yourself to make sure whatever you you removed from your life doesn't come back okay a lot of people don't don't know that they just cleanse and they think that they're good but you're not good you have to protect yourself at all times especially when you're doing the spiritual work you have to spiritualists occultists metaphysicians all of you guys um light workers and past we have to protect ourselves don't think just because you meditate and you pray and you and you eat and healthy and you are vegan no you still have to protect yourself you're not invincible from spiritual attack let's get that straight you can raise your vibrations you can do what you can but just know that Every level you go up, there's a demon. You you have to keep yourself grounded. You have to keep yourself protected at all times. Wear those crystals. Take your spiritual baths. Take those every day. You have to do this every day, especially with the whole shift in the cosmos that's happening right now. There's certain things I can't talk about on YouTube. This is why I be trying to tell y'all, y'all have to join my, my group, Divine Royalty. Once we, we are in the recruiting stage right now because we are in some tough times. And we're not going to be on this platform much longer. This platform might not even be here. But I can't, like I said, I can't talk about everything up here because they might try to shut me down again. Okay. They already tried to shut down my Facebook page plenty of times, but I can't talk about it. But anyway, moving forward, um, you guys, make sure you're taking your spiritual baths. Protect yourself. Okay. Um, that's just going to be it for the candle magic. Drop your questions your statements or whatever in the comment section and I will respond to them. If I forgot anybody, if I forgot anything, just drop it down and I'll respond. Also, if you need any type of readings, email me at conjurequeen at gmail.com. If you feel like you are under spiritual attack, if you feel like you need a reading, you need some clarity, if there's some spiritual things going on in your life that you just don't understand, trust me, it's a lot of crazy things going on right now in the ether. So you're not by yourself, okay? There is an attack on the psychics, on the spiritualists, on the empaths, on all the light workers right now. Facts. You're not paranoid. Um, like and subscribe and drop your questions in the comment section. So until next time, guys.